Do any of these acronyms mean something to you? Rocky, 32 gig FC, NVMe, TCP IP. They should be because IO matters. Hi, this is Todd Owens. I'm the field technical marketing manager at Marvell. Marvell is a strategic supplier to HPE for a variety of technologies that HPE uses in server storage and networking solutions. And today, I want to talk about a technology that's in one of our, our I.O. protocols called RDMA. So, Remote Direct Memory Access. That's what RDMA is. Okay? Now, uh, what RDMA is all about is reducing the latency of the I.O. path. And the way we do that is by bypassing the kernel, okay? And what I mean by bypassing the kernel is we start with a CPU. We have an I.O. device, and then we have memory, right? Now, all of these are interconnected on the PCIe bus. In a normal I.O. transaction, let's say we want to do a read from memory. What happens is a transaction comes in, goes to the CPU, the CPU comes down, grabs the information out of the memory, and we reverse the steps, okay? With RDMA, the process is a little bit different. With RDMA, the I.O. device is enabled to be able to talk directly to the memory. So we bypass the kernel, the software stack. What does that do to the overall performance? It reduces the amount of time it takes for every I.O. transaction. So let's talk about RDMA protocols. First protocol to talk about is Rocky, RDMA over converged Ethernet. RDMA over converged Ethernet runs over Ethernet networks, a converged Ethernet network, which really means a lossless Ethernet network, and it provides the best um, latency profile at the adapter level, typically sub one microsecond. The challenge with Rocky is because it runs over that converged Ethernet network, it requires a special network configuration. Um, and typically, converged Ethernet environments don't scale very well. Once you get past about two hops, uh, you have to start doing really special things in your network environment. So we recommend that if you're going to deploy Rocky, that you limit it to one to two hop type environments. If you need to scale, if you need to bypass the kernel, get the lower latency benefits of RDMA, but do it at scale, there's another protocol called iWarp. Now, iWarp runs on standard TCP IP, right? What that means is it runs on the network you use today. It can scale the same way your network can scale today. And iWarp will give you a latency profile somewhere in the 5 to 10 microsecond range. So companies who only support Rocky will give you marketing stuff that says Rocky is six times lower latency than iWarp. And while that's true at the adapter level, when you look at it end to end, when we look at it from the time uh, we're talking at one endpoint through a network, through a server, you know, and an operating system, you know, you're looking at this whole operation, even in a low latency environment, being somewhere in the 80 microsecond range. You know, maybe 50 to 80 microseconds, all right? Is that four microseconds really going to make a difference end to end? Probably not. So uh, what we recommend is if the, if the customer's number one priority is low latency, Rocky is probably the right answer. Uh, but it's got limited scalability. In all other cases, if the operating system supports it, run iWarp. And that's the other key element of engaging with an RDMA environment is what does the operating system support. So from an OS standpoint, uh, Rocky is supported today on VMware, supported on Windows, and supported in Linux. And iWarp today is supported on Windows and Linux. So if you're running um, VMware, 
then you need to focus in on Rocky as well, obviously, because that's what that operating system supports. But in Windows Linux environments, you can choose from either one. So that's the basics around RDMA. If you need low latency, you want to look at high-performance Ethernet adapters that have profiles that support Rocky or iWarp RDMA. Thanks for watching. This is Todd Owens. My contact details are below here. Feel free to reach out to me at any time with any questions that you might have relating to IO technology.